Health at any size is hurting women, and in today's video, I'm going to explain why. Don't forget to subscribe and check out some of my free resources below. Download my new ebook, The 5 Steps You Must Take to Stop Binge Eating Now. Alright, let's get to it. Health at any size is this philosophy that says that you can be healthy at any size, despite your weight. And I find a lot of dietitians, especially on Instagram and even YouTube, who are promoting this ideology. I understand what they are trying to say, that weight is not everything. You do not have to be thin to be healthy. In fact, many thin women and men are not healthy, as I can attest. I've made a video about this before. I've talked about the good and the bad, but now I'm gonna talk about the ugly. I really do believe that health in any size is starting to hurt women. It can hurt men too, but I'm going to focus on the ladies for this video. Health at any size advocates talk about body inclusivity, weight neutral dietitians, they talk about body positive. It sounds, it sounds like a very positive message. They focus on other aspects of health, not just the weight, which is fine. Health is more than what you weigh and it needs to be more holistic. However, I think they discount a woman's appearance and weight a little bit too much. And this is where I have a problem. One of a woman's greatest assets is her physical beauty and how she looks. And I think most women intuitively know this. When they are fit and they're pretty, they get more attention. And we have data to prove this. Um, attractive women get more dates. They are more likely to get favorable ratings from their peers. It is easier for them to get a job. Life is easier for attractive women. I hate to say it, I didn't make the rules, I didn't design nature, but that is a fact. Most of the women who are hearing this message are in their teens, 20s, 30s, sometimes even 40s, and they are looking for long-term mates. Many of them are using dating apps or they're just finding people naturally, like the old school way. How does a woman find a good date? She needs to be attractive. And I think this is what health in any size ignores. It ignores that a woman's physical appearance and her beauty is one of the most powerful things that she has. Now that doesn't mean that women can't do other things. It doesn't mean that they're not smart, that they can't build things, that they can't start companies. I'm not talking about that at all. I am not even going to start that fire. But it is undeniable that a woman's physical attraction is one of her best assets and she needs to take care of that. Most women know this, but my problem with health in any size is it tells women that they should just be accepted for how they are, that one, some women are naturally bigger than others, that if they aren't attractive to the opposite sex, that it's somehow the man's fault, or they blame society for having unrealistic standards, and that is true to a certain extent. Not, not every woman is going to have a, an amazing body that can be published on a magazine, but most women, like most men, have room for improvement and they need to be fit, they need to look healthy. As I explained on the previous video, looking fit and healthy is a sign of fitness. And when a man is looking at a woman, he wants to know that that woman is fit to give birth and produce healthy offspring. Now, if you ask most men with why they're attracted to fit women, fit and healthy women, they wouldn't really know why. It's just, that's what their brains are telling them. And we cannot ignore this. Biology is the elephant in the room, and we cannot get rid of biology, and we can't change it. The other thing I don't like about health in any size is that it's almost nihilistic. It's almost like the black pill. I hear things like, you can't change your weight, you can't change your body, that once you're overweight and obese, you're always overweight and obese because diets don't work, and 95% of people don't try. I get it. The statistics aren't good. But what if I told you that half of all marriages in a divorce, therefore you should never get married and nobody should ever pursue marriage or 90% of businesses fail. So nobody should ever open a business. It's nihilism. And it's like you shouldn't even try. But here's the thing. If you are a woman and you are overweight and you are obese, you should definitely take some action. You need to do something because you're not getting the results that you want. If you are overweight and obese, you're not going to get the quality of mates that you want. You're not going to get the attention or the attraction that you, if you're on a dating app and you're not getting a lot of responses and you don't have a good body, you're not in good shape, that's where you should start. Here's my best dating advice for women. And I am not a dating expert, okay? I don't, I don't even date, but I know this. Be pretty, be feminine, be fit. That is the best dating advice. If you are those three things, you are going to get attraction. 
This channel will not be possible without Esatino Artists. If you want to start your own YouTube channel and start producing content, you can do that today. Check out the Creative Business Academy. There is a link below. All right, back to the video. This is what health in any size ignores. It ignores biology. Women need to be pretty feminine and fit if they want to get attention and if they want to find good mates, if they want to find good dates. I think health in any size started when this club of unfit women who just couldn't lose weight said, ah, screw it. I don't need dates. I don't need to be attractive. So let's just pretend like being overweight and being out of shape is okay. It was kind of like in high school when all the unpopular kids sat together and just pretended like they were cool and they didn't need anybody else. It's kind of like that. A lot of women want to be fit and attractive and that's okay. And this is another problem with health in any size is that it tells women that they shouldn't pursue that, that they shouldn't pursue weight loss, that there's more to health, which is true. But telling women that they shouldn't want to look better, that they shouldn't try to improve their physical attraction is wrong. Because I think most women realize that life is better and life is easier when they are fit and when they are attractive. Telling women otherwise that they shouldn't, per that they shouldn't pursue those goals and that they're just trying to do what society tells them is a really bad message. The other thing too is that a lot of people do lose weight and they keep it off. We know this. If you do it the right way, I've made videos on this before. There are good ways of losing weight and there are bad ways of losing weight. You do not have to go on a restrictive diet. Trust me, if you give yourself 12 to 18 months to reach your weight loss goal, you will do it. Why? Because 12 to 18 months is a long time and you can lose a lot of weight over a long period of time. You do not need to go on a crash diet. You do not need to lose 30 pounds before that wedding. In fact, I really hope that you don't do that. But this is where health at any size goes off the rails. It says weight loss is impossible. Just accept your body for what it is and move on. But I think a lot of women are rejecting that message as they should reject that message. It's a nihilistic message. It just says that you should accept whatever situation you're in because you can't change it. So don't bother trying. Let's forget the physical attraction part. Being overweight and being obese is not a fun life. Trust me, I've had patients who are severely overweight or obese. It is hard to move, it is hard to recover, it is hard to be independent, it is hard on your joints, it is hard to get into the car. There is nothing good about being morbidly obese. So let's not pretend like being obese or being really overweight is fun or that it's desirable, or that it isn't worth changing, because it is worth changing. As a disclaimer, I am not encouraging women to be skinny or thin. You do not need to be either. What I am encouraging is that you be at an ideal body weight. Remember, fit is in, thin is not. Be fit, be healthy. So if you are obese or overweight, where do you need to start? You need to look at your daily habits, because your habits aren't working for you. So when are you eating? How much are you eating? What are you eating? And start making some changes today. Do not wait to make some changes. If I told you to make one change today, I'm pretty sure you could figure out one change to make. So do it. So what do you do if you are overweight or you're obese or you're not in great shape? Here's where to start. Put on some tennis shoes and move for one minute. That's all you have to do. Just one minute of exercise. If you're not, if you don't have a consistent exercise routine right now, it's okay. You don't have to do 60 minutes tomorrow. Just start with one minute. Can you put on your shoes and go walk for a minute? There, just start there. Next, identify all of the junk food that you're eating and substitute one snack for something that's really healthy. Just make one change. I'm a big fan of making small changes. Small change over a long period of time equals massive results. Start making good habits today and then repeat over and over and over for the next 12 or 18 months. In 18 months, people won't even recognize you and you'll have a lot more success in the dating market. You'll be a lot healthier and you'll be a lot more confident in your body. So let's summarize. Health in any size is ultimately not a good message for women. It discounts their physical beauty. It tells them not to pursue weight loss or health goals. It tells them that their, that their beauty and that their bodies don't matter when they absolutely do. It also has this nihilistic tone. Once you're overweight or obese, you always will be. So you shouldn't try to change that. Just accept what you are forever. So ladies, my advice, reject health in any size. Be pretty, be fit, be attractive. Men love it. Hope you found this video educational and entertaining and maybe a bit controversial. 
Don't forget to subscribe and check out some of my free resources below. And if you want to speak with me, there is also a link below. If you liked this video, I'm sure you'll like one of the other videos that you see on the screen. Click one of them and I'll see you there.